Hello there, um, my name is Shukrat and in this lesson I'd like to talk about a project that I've been working uh, a few years back and the main goal was uh, to uh, create a visual representation of uh, fly roads of Saudi and um, also to be able to show all the data uh, that uh, which country it's flying to and uh, uh, to show it uh, like all those uh, I mean in an artistic way to show all those trace lines uh, planes with uh, names uh, of a uh, flying country too and also those uh, point of destinations and as well we have an animation here and uh, another task was to, uh, uh, as I learned during the project, uh, is uh, that uh, we have only um, three airports, main airports uh, in Saudi. And uh, the task was also to use only one airport, which is uh, Jeddah. Uh, and uh, they're, they're also... Uh, uh, main problem was its uh, uh, the deadlines uh, were too short. It's almost a uh, few days um, for for all this task. So um, let me actually uh, show how I managed to accomplish the task. So here I have uh, the. Uh, finished project and uh, those uh, separated layers which I use to render and um, compose in After Effects um, so uh, first is uh, I use the um, the information that you can find on the internet uh, that has all the uh, flight data uh, uh, of the world, uh, all the airline, airline companies and uh, countries uh, uh, that have all those uh, 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 flight roads so you you can get uh, all that information uh, on the internet so I, I had uh, uh, two type of data which is uh, the naming um, of the uh, certain uh, airports and uh, uh, the destination uh, the coordinates and uh, uh, I mean uh, the departure uh, airport and uh, destination airport as well. So uh, I use the uh, uh, table import, uh, which allows you to exclude a certain type of data uh, to have, which one which you'd like to use later on. So the the first one which I use the routes that which has uh, um, distance, naming, and sourcing. Uh, another type of data uh, that I've used is uh, coordinate system and naming as well. Uh, this naming as I uh, we have also IDs and those naming are the destination. So uh, then I filter out uh, the uh, the Jeda airports. The, for example, here I have sixty-seven plus thousand uh, points, and after filtering that out, I have only one hundred ninety-four. Here as well, I as you see, uh, all those points are those uh, destination points. And uh, here uh, 
we use all this information to convert our coordinate system uh, from uh, spherical to Cartesian. Um, that what I learned from uh, Integma lessons on YouTube, which was very helpful, but uh, the um, the main problem was uh, how would I exclude uh, the exact uh, name of the airport and all the destination points that uh, it has. Uh, next, a little cleanup, and I excluded. Uh, an airport which has a mad uh, naming then uh, I connect those points with uh, with the Jedi points this way I'm having those lines which are actually my destination path here I'm excluding uh, uh, another uh, named uh, uh, it was um, actually uh, trying a, 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 an error uh, work uh, just to uh, get exactly what I need so uh, and here we uh, deleting this set of group and having only one point which I understand uh, this is a uh, uh, should be a um, that group that we exactly actually uh, selected. Uh, continuing from here, where we have those connections, uh, I clean up uh, as I guess there was uh, double lines. Uh, so I clean up those uh, unnecessary uh, points and primitives then uh, more cleanup then I copy those attributes from Jedi group to uh, to those uh, primitives and points uh, mostly it was uh, naming which was uh, used oftenly. Uh, next, I'm adding some additional attributes, custom attributes, so I could uh, continue working from here. Uh, then I'm copying some attributes. Uh, I think there was a problem of uh, placement, so uh, this placement was uh, uh, the correct placement, so as you see, there is a little switch. Then I resample the lines and uh, use an attribute to have uh, bending curves uh, across the sphere uh, that will represent the Earth. Uh, then I used uh, some custom uh, tweaks just to uh, make them not just, not just stick onto the sphere, but uh, be a little bit like um, pushed upwards, uh, outwards of, uh, of of the sphere, and um, here I'm using some additional attributes, uh, sorting, cleaning as well, and then UV texturing. Uh, And here for each, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm um, having problem uh, with transferring a naming attribute in the beginning and in the end. So I uh, just uh, deleted those points in the beginning and uh, copied this uh, name attribute onto the whole curve. This way, I could keep all the namings correctly because it was uh, changing uh, while uh, uh, while moving across the, uh, across the line. Okay, um, 
promoting a distant attribute just to have uh, uh, just to have uh, uh, the possibility to uh, put some animation uh, the gradient animation onto the curves here I'm deleting uh, the uh, splitting those curves uh, onto three parts which uh, which has a uh, 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 the longest one, then there is the, the shortest one and the average one. And here as well, I'm uh, creating some animation. Uh, here's the we have points and carving. Um, here I'm adding uh, some attributes to be able then to use those attributes to move uh, this point uh, along along the curve where we're using uh, UV attribute um, and then uh, we attribute interpolate we are, we are able to uh, in a cycle mode just to loop the, 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 the cycle that point movement and Another thing, I have a gradient which uh, represents the trail of, of the plane and uh, another issue was how would I manage to have uh, the point and the uh, trail uh, uh, follow the, that point. Here uh, I'm uh, tweaking uh, the p scale attribute, yeah, the p scale. So, um, in in the, in the video, you can see uh, in the first one, the planes are keeping the scale, and they look uh, a little bit odd. Uh, but and here you can see those planes are getting smaller and disappear. Um, Yeah. So uh, next, I I add another attribute and then merge them together. So here I have a point. So it's my it is my plane, and it has trails. And I get a nice movement. I use a time shift just to randomize my animation. Okay, and here's the final result, which I think looks quite nice. Next, um, what I used here, I used here, these are my destination points, it's like uh, location, static. Here I have uh, the naming of uh, destination. Then I merge them together. Okay, and here I'm using um, um, I'm uh, I'm adding some animation to uh, to have an effect of uh, spinning uh, earth. Yeah, so I it's a reference of a uh, main animation node um, here I'm um, moving it slightly off the of the sphere just to just to avoid uh, penetration with the uh, with the earth okay and I'm adding some more attributes and here I'm using uh, points uh, expression just to uh, <coughs> apply uh, naming to each point and here also I'm using this points attribute okay um, now here are my lines here are my points that I'm copying my planes onto 
so you can see those planes are flying and also p scale is working just fine we are scaling to zero okay uh, here are points as an um, additional effect as I think I did so um, okay these are namings and now we see uh, with the earth not yet moving okay so the final the final is you know see uh, planes are moving to their destination they have uh, the naming let me just check Here's my earth. Here's some additional um, tweaks, and the final result is uh, looking like that. So if we look through camera, So as you see, uh, we have uh, all those uh, destination points. Each plane has uh, the naming of destination point, and plane planes are uh, goes to zero scale when arriving uh, to the destination point, and all those uh, traces are following planes just fine. And this is the final result, and uh, yeah, it was a very uh, experienced heavy project for me, and uh, it was very interesting. And I was, I think, lucky enough to finish the project um, on time. I hope you liked the project, uh, and uh, um, it was uh, enough valuable information and uh, thank you very much for your attention and uh, i see you in the next uh, lessons so uh, goodbye